playing up for the camera, Tripoli Zoo's big cats welcome the attention. And it's been a long time since they've had visitors. The zoo has been shut for 10 months since the revolution began. For a while, it was uncertain whether the zoo or the animals would survive. In the hippo compound, damage from small arms fire is formidable. But worse than that, the animals were starving. For months, Tripoli Zoo didn't have any money for food, for maintenance, for anything. And then an international charity stepped in, offering them $2,000 a day. That was in September, but that money runs out in December. But it's not just funding. The war psychologically scarred the animals here as well. Due to the bombing, the animals changed their behavior. They attacked each other and were scared. For a while, we were worried they might kill each other. And it wasn't just the animals that suffered. Before the war, they had 175 people working here. Most left, only 12 stayed behind. Protecting these animals was important. These animals are a national treasure. It was our duty to help them, despite the danger. Tripoli Zoo is full of rare and exotic creatures, including these white lions. And they get more exotic. This is a liger, a cross between a lion and a tiger. It was a gift from Germany to Saadi al-Gaddafi, Colonel Gaddafi's son. An example of Western governments trying to win favor with the then regime of this oil-rich country. Saadi would often come to the zoo to show off the big cats and to impress his visitors. But when he really wanted to impress, he would bring them here, to his private zoo. Saadi is in exile in Niger now. In his absence, his cats have given birth. During the regime, Saadi made sure this facility had all the money that it needed. Now, though, it faces a funding crisis. And if the money doesn't arrive soon, it's going to be a tough winter for the residents of this zoo. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.